What? We got rain? Tell me exactly where. Well, there so it is right refreshing, there. So refreshing, Jeff. Yeah, and you know, we knew the storm system was going to be hitting the Sierra, but some of that rainfall uh, squeaked on by and moved down here towards the Bay Area. And the good news, uh, Janelle, you mentioned it's refreshing, and uh, we definitely can say so because we're not seeing any lightning strikes with this. So if anything, it's actually helping out our short-term fire danger right now. So again, this coming from that activity we've been telling you about across the Sierra, just kind of making its way on down here. So I think over the the next uh, two to three hours, we'll have a slight chance here of some of those isolated showers. We'll get you in closer to a view of this, and you can see totals trace amounts to 907 inch here with most of the reports in Napa, Vallejo, also American Canyon. We're seeing some of that rain over Pleasant Hill, also near Walnut Creek. This is moving off towards the south, so as we put a track on this, we'll see that chance through 531 in Walnut Creek, and likely the chance of showers here into Orinda through 6 o'clock tonight. Now, as this moves off towards the south, it is expected to break up, but once again, some isolated shower chances as we head throughout the next uh, two to three hours. Let's show you what's been producing this. We've been talking about this storm system since Monday, and it is just crawling across the West. A lot of different things it's brought us. We've had the wind. We had the snow over the Sierra, also the cooler temperatures, and now we're getting uh, some of those showers. So I, I do think as we roll through tomorrow morning, we're going to start it off dry here, mostly sunny. But notice the Sierra. We've got the snowfall for you. Even some rain uh, down there mixed in as well at some of the lower elevations. As we roll through tomorrow afternoon, still snow chances for Tahoe. And notice we likely could see a little bit more of this bubble up near Ukiah, also Lakeport. That might extend again into Napa and Solano counties as we move through tomorrow's forecast. So we'll be watching it again as we roll through the afternoon. A uh, snowfall with this, not super high, but we're looking for an additional two to three inches right there across Interstate 80 and also Highway 50. Temperatures back here because of that cold system going to feel very chilly out there to you tomorrow morning. So if you got to get up early, head back into the office, work from home is over for you. Uh, make sure to have that jacket with you. 46 there in Tri-Valley, 48 in the peninsula, South Bay at 47. More of those chilly 40s over the East Bay, San Francisco, and right there for the North Bay as well. Daytime highs tomorrow do start to warm up as that system tries to pull away. This will bring us into the 70s here for Livermore, Concord 75, 70 in Martinez in low to mid 70s, Santa Rosa and Napa get closer to the Bay, 60 and at our beaches, we will have 50s. On my seven day forecast, once again, wind will remain in San Francisco 15 to 35 miles per hour. We'll hold with 60s in the forecast. And across the inland valleys, we're watching that rainfall off to the north tomorrow. Again, we could have a few more spotty showers we're tracking this time tomorrow. 70s through Saturday, and then we get some 80s moving on in once we hit Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Doesn't look extremely hot next week, and we should start to level off, and we'll have some 70s returning once we roll into next Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, we should also say coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, we'll have more detailed looks at that new drought map that came out today. Uh, Raj and Janelle, as you both know, we, we've now slid into that worst category, exceptional drought. So we'll have full coverage of that again at 6 o'clock tonight. A lot of good information. Thank you, Jeff.